my name is Bryce Hemethal and I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS application engineer from Go Engineer. In today's quick tips video we're going to be talking about our SOLIDWORKS electrical 3D product and we're going to be talking about the segregation tool inside that product. So we use our segregation tool to guide which paths our routes take when they're routing in 3D. We can also use this tool to separate our high and low voltage wires and this will help us reduce our machine and cabinet noise. So let's go ahead and jump into SOLIDWORKS. So I've already routed some wires. And if you look over here, I have some red and orange wires for my three phase wires going coming down this right duct, but I would prefer that they don't come in that duct. Also, my 24 volt AC wires go up and I prefer them go down and around. So we'll go ahead and use our segregation tool. So let's first, what I have to do is select the wire type. So I'll go ahead and select my three phase wires. Hit select, and I can either, it, choose to exclude or include certain sketch path. So we'll go ahead and select this line and exclude it. And it's detailed in our segregation manager to tell exactly which wires are excluded from which paths or included. And now we'll worry about our 24 volt AC. But you'll notice as I select this sketch line, it selects the entire line. And I'd rather break it up into certain segments. So I'll go ahead and edit that sketch. And I'm gonna go ahead and use our split entities command by right clicking and breaking this line into two, and I'll just make sure those are at the same point by making those coincident. And now you'll notice that I'm able to select those separately now. So let's go ahead and go back to our segregation tool. And I'll select my 24 volt AC wire. And now I'll choose to exclude this sketch line. And I'll choose to include these two. And I'll go ahead and accept that. And when I go to my segregation manager, you'll now notice that it actually puts a new segregation point for each sketch line that I have selected. So let's go ahead and route our wires. This will take a couple seconds. I'll delete the existing route that I have wired out there. But let's go ahead and jump a little bit in the design process and look at what it would look like. You'll notice that now I know, don't have red and yellow wires up the right side, and my left side has the wires going down and around. So now we'll take a look at a side-by-side -side comparison between our two routes. In the first route, you'll see we had our three-phase wires in this duct over here, as well as our 24-volt AC wires, this green, these green wires, go down and up this direction. Or after, if you look, we have no three-phase wires in this duct over here because I told them to exclude this path. And then our 24-volt AC wires, the green wires, come down and around because I told them to include this path and exclude this path over here. But that's how we can change where our routes go in SOLIDWORKS using SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D and our segregation tool. This has been Go Engineer with another Quick Tips video. Have a great day.